Greetings to all viewers and Hunka. We are delighted to accompany you and the new segment of 22 Hour Channel. Our team of professional editorial take pride in being the fastest and most accurate news channel. Had there been any noteworthy updates today, stay tuned to find out. We will send you the latest news about the disaster situation and the great flood raging in China, making Mr. Xi Jinping cry like rain, and the people of China running away, shelter everywhere. Some ran to the Great Wall of China tourist area for shelter because it is said to be 3,000 meters above sea level, others ran to high mountain peaks to escape. There are still a few thousand people who are deciding to illegally cross the border to Vietnam to apply for asylum. However, Border guards and functional agencies at border gates such as Langsan, Ha Zhong and Lao Kai are still guarding 24 hours a day and night to prevent any Chinese from spilling over into the territory of Vietnam. Vietnam. Because, it is very dangerous for the Chinese to set foot in Vietnam at this time, because the COVID-19 epidemic is said to be having bad and complicated developments. According to a local Chinese newspaper, in the early morning of this day, heavy to very heavy rain along with flash floods, tornadoes, and hail continuously pour down on China within nine hours. In the past, it has submerged an airport, a port, a military base and broken a small hydroelectric dam in the tributary of the Mekong River, making cities such as Shanghai, Yinan, Anhui, and Hubei. Zhejiang was submerged in flood water. This made the head of China, Mr. Xi Jinping, exclaim that God has truly destroyed China, and Beijing is completely ruined. Oh my God! My earth is my earth, my rain is my rain, please don't rain on China anymore. And in the face of the situation, the situation was irresistible even to God. The head of the Communist Party of China is said to be repenting and is setting up a forum to pray to heaven and earth to stop the rain. However, according to the China Earthquake and Flood Warning Center, heavy to very heavy rains along with the Great Flood in China continue to rise, of which nearly 100 rivers are exceeding the warning level. Red Motion Meanwhile, a news that is said to be dark for the whole of China. The country's Central Hydro Meteorological Forecasting Center has put a warning in a forecast at 5.30 am today saying that China is about to receive another heavy rain tonight and this rain. Expected to last about six hours. It is likely that this heavy rain will continue to flood many places in the southern region of China. Thereby, the China Earthquake and Tsunami Forecasting Center said that heavy rain and tonight will cause the Yangtze River to rise by one meter and directly threaten the Three Gorges Dam. Currently, Chinese authorities have issued an emergency notice and asked all people to continue moving to safe places for shelter. They said that they can seek refuge in Vietnam for about a month because this flood is likely to last until the end of August. Thus, it can be said that the situation of heavy rain, high winds, flash floods, landslides, broken dikes, and dams have not yet been let go. China and this is said to be the price that the Chinese side is paying for its crimes caused to the world during the past time. Heavy rain and high winds have caused damage to 29 provinces and cities in China. Extremely harmful. Although the situation is very difficult and dangerous, observers say that Beijing's warships and navy are still launching missiles and firing live ammunition, bombing near woody islands, close to the archipelago. Hongso Island of Vietnam At the same time, Beijing also illegally exploited oil and gas and continued to build and build an illegal artificial archipelago in the East Sea, in order to challenge the world, which is China's mistake and crime. Beijing's fault cannot be tolerated and accepted. Therefore, God as well as Mother Nature still had to be angry and pour torrential rains of thunder and lightning on China to punish the world. Ladies and gentlemen, there was news that was supposed to be very bad for China yesterday. China's Central Epidemic and Disaster Prevention Center said that rain today and tomorrow will continue to pour billions of cubic meters of water into rivers and dams in southern China's cities and cities. It is forecasted that the day after tomorrow rain will spread to some northern cities of the country, causing severe widespread flooding. In addition, some areas where water cannons, flash floods, and flood pipes passed through now also generate a disease that is dangerous to human life. This disease is said to be more dangerous than the COVID-19 epidemic. However, the current Chinese side has not officially announced it to the world and if this becomes a reality, China will be officially wiped out by the end of this year, 2022. And Mr. Xi Jinping will certainly be disqualified. Ladies and gentlemen,
according to China's Central Television, in a news report at 1900 hours yesterday evening. It was reported that in the face of urgent and dangerous situations of rain and flood in the upper Yangtze River, and the Three Gorges Dam is pouring in more and more, which is expected to engulf many low-lying areas of China. As a result, the Beijing government sent military helicopters and aircraft, and the army quickly evacuated people from the danger lying downstream of the Yangtze River. But the number of people living in the downstream area is said to be very large. Up to moreover, the prolonged heavy rain accompanied by thunderstorms caused the water from the Three Gorges Dam to continuously discharge into tsunamis, washing away all the houses into the East Sea, making the people of China live in a miserable situation. Coal and the Screen of Heaven and Earth It is known that China currently has more than 170 million people trapped in flood and low-lying areas trying to escape. Mr. Xi Jinping ordered the country's authorities to remove the people from the flooded areas mentioned above. Vietnam is the place that Mr. Xi Jinping mentioned to bring the displaced people to. However, related to many issues, including the COVID-19 epidemic, there are complicated developments, so Vietnam issued a notice to ban Chinese people. If Vietnamese functional forces detect that Chinese people show signs of illegally crossing the border into Vietnam's territory by some mysterious route, they will immediately be arrested and returned to the Chinese side. Country this is considered a very drastic and tough action of the Vietnamese government in the context that the epidemic is showing bad signs and complicated developments. Ladies and gentlemen, torrential rains continue in central China, floods are frequent in many places, and water levels in many areas have broken historical records. The water level of the Zhou River, a major tributary of the Yangtze River, is reaching all-time high. At dawn the other day, the Anhui provincial government of the Chinese Communist Party blew up a dam to release the flood. Floods flooded into flood containment and detention areas such as Hongkou and Haihuk and Hongkou and Bai, and the verdant land instantly became a vast ocean. Cation. Com reports that due to continuous rainfall, the Waihe River has experienced significant flooding in the past two days. The upstream Buangjiabha hydrological station reached the warning water level last night, and this year's no. Two flood occurred on the Hoaiha River. On the morning of the previous day, the Wangjiaba hydrological station was 0.45 meters above the alarm level. As reported by Anhui Daily yesterday, the entire mainstream of the Yangtze River has exceeded the alarm level, flooding has occurred in the Waihe River Basin, and the drainage of the Chaohu Lake Basin is not smooth. Shall. Xinhuan News Agency reported that the water level of the Chu River, a primary tributary of the Yangtze River, changed from a slow increase to a rapid increase due to continuous heavy rains, the inflow of water upstream, and flood control. Worse than, the water level at Qinghaiku reached 14.33 meters at 1 a.m. yesterday, exceeding the guaranteed water level by 0. 0.93 meters and approaching the historic highest water level of 14.44 meters. At 3 a.m. yesterday, the Chu River in Anhui was blasting and releasing floods, and the Chu Embankment was broken in two places. These are the two reservoirs that opened in Anhui after the Dongdai Temple was opened the other day. Hongkou and Haihuk and Hongkou Dambai are located at the confluence of the mainstreams of the Chu Henxiang Rivers, Wuging Town, Quanzhou District, Chuzhou City, and Wei Province. There are 24 polders distributed along both banks of the Chu River, with a population of about 87,000 people, of which there are five large encroachments with an area of over 10,000 kilometers. Local officials said that people in the flooded area have been moved. The total flood storage area of Hongkou and Haihuk and Hongkou and Bai exceeds 10 kilometers squared, with a total design flood capacity of 60.71 million cubic meters. Yesterday afternoon, both the Emergency Response for Flood Control and the Emergency Response for Flood and Drought Disaster Prevention in Anhui Province were upgraded to level I. From the past two days, many where in Anhui Province continuously had heavy rain, the situation of flood control became more and more severe. Flooding occurred in Waihe River Basin, Po Drainage System and severe flooding in Chaohu Lake Basin, the entire Yangtze River mainstream exceeded alarm levels. Anhui province appeared to heavy rains in about yesterday to tomorrow. According to telemetry information about the water regime, as of 1800 hours on July 2018, the water level at the Vuangjiabha flood plain on the Hoaiha River was 28.08 meters, 
0.58 meters higher than the warning level and still is continuing to increase. Heavy rains caused the water level of rivers and lakes in the Sao Basin to rise on a large scale. From the evening of the 17th to the 18th, heavy rain continuously occurred in Hefei, Luke and, and other places, red rainstorm warnings were issued in two places. Among them, the rainfall in Hefei broke the extreme value. From 8 p.m. yesterday to 2 p.m. yesterday, Hefei urban area received 239.5 mm of rain, the first in terms of daily rainfall since this urban area has meteorological records. The Nanfu, Pai, Fengal, Hangbu and Nanfei tributaries all exceeded the warning level. Both the Dongpu Reservoir and the Daifadan Reservoir, the two main reservoirs in Hefei City, are above the flood limit. At 8.10 p.m. The previous day, the Dong Daitu floodgate was opened, and the Dong Daitu flood storage area in Dulo Zhang District began to store flood water. According to the Jonggan online portal of Anhui Province, at 8.10 p.m. Yesterday, the water level at the Dong Daitu and Sai Gap hydrological stations of the Baihu Management Branch, Lujiang District, Hefei City reached 12.50 meters. Higher than the guaranteed water level 0.6 meters. The Anhui Provincial Defense Command issued a flood order in Dong Daivi and opened the floodgates. 65,000 hectares of fertile and will be submerged, this is the seventh flood in the history of Bakho Lake. According to the data, the Dong Daivi flood storage area is located in Lojong District, with an area of 65,000 hectares of arable land, and the design flood storage capacity is to 30 million cubic meters. The day before yesterday was the second time the Dong Dai Tu flood depot was opened and this was also the seventh flood storage so far. It is known that the Dong Dai Tu flood storage area belongs to the flood storage and retention area in the Yangtze River Basin. According to the report, more than 2,500 hazardous situations of various types occurred in five provinces in the middle and lower Yangtze River, including 108 hazardous situations on the main embankment of the Yangtze River. According to the forecast, in the next three days, in some areas of the Hoai Ha River Basin, there will still be heavy to very heavy rain. Affected by heavy rain, the mainstream of the upper and middle Hoai Ha River is still in a state of super alert, some small and medium rivers may experience large floods. We will continue to update you and the next newsletter. And today's program we would like to pause here. Wishing you all a healthy and happy first day of the week. Best regards and see you soon. Yes, dear viewer, this concludes today's new bulletin. We sincerely thank you and all of you who have been following our news. We wish you and your family good health and happiness. If you find our content value, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon in the top right corner of the screen to stay updated with the last day news that we will be providing. Now, goodbye and see you again soon.